Hi everyone, my name is Professor Volinda Lanyoni. I am the current Head of Department for the Visual Arts at Nelson Mandela University in Port Elizabeth. I myself am a practicing printmaker. Um, I love drawing and you might ask how I got into this sort of space. Well, I started drawing when I was about 10. I love comics, I love movies, I love anything to do with film. I also love reading. So I've, in my history, I've really explored any way to be creative as much as I could do in my entire life. And I'm hoping that you, viewing this video, will also choose to do the same. You will find our campus um, spread out between Bird Street in the central of uh, Port Elizabeth, um, Second Avenue, and North Campus, where our main sort of hub is really. In the visual arts, we have quite a few different streams that you will be able to follow. We offer fashion and textiles on Second Avenue. We offer photography, graphic design, fine arts, and visual studies. The Bachelor of Visual Arts degree comprises of three solid years as an undergraduate, a fourth year, which is an honours year, and then we have your master's and postgraduate studies going up to a PhD level, which has just been recently approved. In your first year, you would expect to do a range of different things, and we offer, as, we, as I mentioned before, a range of applied design subjects, fine arts subjects, and um, the theory. You'll become specialised in whatever skill or area of specialisation that you have chosen in your second year. The department is a very collegial space. We get to know our students firsthand, um, by name, and we are very casual around how we associate ourselves. We tend to have fun. We like to think creatively, because what we're doing is training the future of creatives in South Africa. We like to go down to the traditional things as well as to experiment with like brand new techniques, um, keeping up with social media uh, trends, as well as exploring new and innovative ways of looking at what it means to produce imagery, create um, artworks, and to display them in the world, to make a contribution to our cultural capital. If you'd like to find out more about the Bachelor of Visual Arts in terms of our offerings, please click on the links provided on the website and explore what we have in the fine arts, be it painting, printmaking, and so forth, and sculpture, or in photography. Um, all the links and information are available there. Also, feel free to call our department and um, make contact with one of our administrators who will guide you in the right direction. Um, the phone number will be posted on the website. We look forward to having you here. We're a dynamic and innovative and fun campus, and we really enjoy what we do. The discipline of painting has been expanded to face the challenges of a multimodal world of visual communication. No single style or form is dictated in approach or concept. Experimentation and play form a key element in this new and innovative way of delivering artworks on multiple platforms other than that of the traditional art gallery. At a second year level, the course commences in a more traditional vein as students are equipped with the technical skills necessary to master at least one of three painting media – oil, acrylic and watercolour. At third year level, students are expected to motivate and with guidance design their own direction, taking into account their degree of technical and formal proficiency. It is at this level that the students may choose to work across disciplines and with any medium or set of media. This may extend to include video and digital new media. The overall aim is to promote responsibility and stimulate an intelligent, lateral exploration of visual and written data. It is hoped that by putting together a personal strategy based on research, the student will be encouraged to develop self-motivation, a prerequisite for functioning as a contemporary artist. This module is aimed at exploring various methods and techniques in order to cultivate an understanding of the material qualities of clay in general. The primary focus of this module is to develop the art-making skills of students in order to extend their professional vocabulary and stimulate self-expression. The practical component introduces students to various ceramic materials and techniques with projects such as pinch bowls, coil pots, hard and soft slab techniques, and this also includes sculpting with clay. Students will also be introduced to mold making and sleep casting. You will learn how to apply different finishes with different underglazes and oxides. 
students will be introduced to different firing processes, such as using the electrical kiln, pit firing and smoke firing. Students are expected in their second year of study to advance progressively in the process of becoming independent and seeking self-determined activity in order to identify problems themselves and then finding solution for those problems and will be required to display a thorough knowledge of the subject's content. In second year, students that select printmaking too can expect to learn the fundamental skills of printmaking, including woodcut, liner cut, and a variety of monotype techniques. Should you decide to take printmaking in your third year, you will learn a combination of highly specialized printmaking techniques, including lithography and etching, and other more adaptable media that can be practiced anyway, such as relief, dry point, and collography. We have a dedicated lithographic relief and intaglio studio at the department, along with three other more general printmaking venues. There are eight different printmaking presses spread out across the venues used to perform the full range of printmaking techniques. Next year, a brand new screen printing studio will be added to the ensemble, which will include a large vacuum press bed, the same kind used in industry. Students in their second year will be exposed to all of these studios and learn how to work in a professional print studio starting from day one. Apart from creating original works of art on paper and other surfaces, students in printmaking will also learn how to work with and handle artist papers, curate works of art. The printmaking course as a whole prepares its students to work as professional artists and printmakers and also apply their skills to professions such as illustration, design and art education. On top of that, we also have a lot of fun. Second year sculpture builds on the foundation created in first year 3D studies. Traditionally, Second year sculpture is dedicated to exploration, to learning about how to manipulate materials in order to express an idea. It presents students with methods, techniques and materials and challenges that allow students to grow at their own pace. From third year on, students are able to explore mediums and ideas and play with different ways of making more freely. However, in second year, the course is project driven. This means that students are introduced to the world of sculpture in manageable portions. Students are presented with the necessary guidance and materials to create a solid foundation and understanding that can be built upon. You will learn the importance of tools and you will get to make your own. You will construct sculpture from found objects. You will work with clay, other modeling materials, and you will carve. You will learn how to make molds and you will cast your sculptures in different materials. Sculpture is hard work. It can be exciting, messy, and a little scary. But with time, you will learn to take nothing and turn it into something. This is the promise that sculpture offers its future artists. Following the process from concept to final product, be it homeware or wearable designs, the fashion and textile student will be empowered with the knowledge, skills and techniques to take their concepts and turn them into tangible products across various end markets. The course is designed to cover from crafting in traditional methods to digital manipulations, which prepare students to enter the clothing and textile industries in its many forms. Students have gone out into the industry, fulfilling various career paths from merchandising and buying, technical and creative designers for commercial costuming in films and television, to stylists, across many fields which include fashion, footwear and luggage, home and interiors, as well as the broader fashionable market. If you see yourself as a graphic designer, then your aim is to develop visual communication to promote a product, a service, organization or idea. With potential to become art directors, graphic designers' services are valuable whenever design concept and layout is required for advertising and branding, user experience design, publication design, digital media, web design, packaging, signage, or logos and corporate identity, all of which we attempt to cover in the learning and teaching program. The Graphic Design program stimulates your creativity and ideas into developing a portfolio that is suitable for a design business where your curiosity, imagination and affinity for human relationships are a vital part of what you do. Our course gives you the best balance between essential technological skills, compelling ideas and sound theoretical understanding. We place design into both professional design spaces 
and a socio-cultural context, developing your personal talent into the knowledge and skills you need to be successful in a rapidly changing society. The course is developed in a studio-like environment which is very similar to what you would experience in the design and advertising industry. With opportunities for interdisciplinary projects, we seek to develop your unique sense of authorship into design that has meaning and impact. Our Photography Bachelor of Visual Arts degree course is aimed at students who want to make a career in professional photography. All aspects of professional photography are covered in both practice and theory, with the greater part of the time being placed on practical projects, either in our well-equipped studios or on location. The three-year full-time program leads to the qualification of Bachelor of Visual Arts in Photography. We have a strong focus on the photographic genres of fashion, advertising, portraiture, documentary, fine art and conceptual, digital illustration, landscape, automotive, industrial and architectural photography. At all times, creativity is king as we are portfolio driven and aim to equip students to work as practicing photographers and media producers. The program also covers many aspects of digital imaging, video production and also book design. Our main photographic studio is 18 meters long and 9 meters wide and is the largest in the Eastern Cape. Highly motivated and creative individuals could follow careers in advertising, fashion, publishing, journalism, video production as well as digital imaging technology and retouching. Extremely creative photographers can also follow the route of being a fine art photographer and doing gallery exhibitions and book projects. Please look at our website, Visual Arts, full stop Mandela, full stop AC, full stop ZA, for more details on all our programs.